Hi everyone, it's Anne from the Woman's Garden. Hello. I'm filming outside today in my lovely garden. There's one of my beautiful lavender bushes, isn't she? Oh, just so beautiful. There's a bit of the view for you all to take in. Anyway, the purpose of today, I wanted to film outside. It is such a lovely day. We had a big storm here last night, lots of thunder and lightning, and it's washed everything clean and given the plants a drink. And I wanted to talk to you today about sketching. Uh, now, the exploration of this aspect of my creativity is something that's pretty new to me still, really. I've been inching towards it for quite a few years and dreaming of it and wishing about it for I don't know how long. And um, this year I just picked up one of my sketchbooks that I've had for the longest time and I just started sketching. I'd been watching this video seminar. They're quite popular now. A lot of women are running... Uh, free video seminars and workshops, you know, how to run a business, what they did and everything. And this woman was talking about different ways to start sketching and I just picked up a pencil and I started and that was it. So anyway, my point of this video is to show you guys that it's just so simple. You do not need to buy expensive product unless you want to see this sketchbook I bought this in one of those like dollar shops I mean it was more than a dollar um, I don't know it was five dollars or ten dollars because I loved the butterflies that's it that was the extent of my decision-making pro process it's uh, 120 GSM 200 pages it's a Piccadilly sketchbook acid-free paper and I just bought it because I loved it and I think uh, that it matters that you're working with materials that you love um, certainly I know that there is a difference when you buy a more expensive product but you know guys it can just become another reason to put off starting so anyway I just wanted to give you a quick flip through this sketchbook like just a very quick flip through just to show you see these sketches that I'm doing that I've done oh that was one of this part of a workshop with um, Andrea in creative expression she teaches on life books she has her own art classes amazing just a little sketch I was playing with of hers but these in general these are mine. Now, if you look, you can see some shapes in them. Sometimes there's shapes that come out quite regularly, but all they are, I get a pencil and I just start drawing. I'm not even looking at it. The idea is to just draw and then I look and I see what's there and sometimes I can see things immediately and sometimes I come back after a few hours and I go oh my god that's what was trying to come through sometimes I never see anything and that's just one of those days so I find this it's a really good practical exercise to just start drawing but also it's a, a way of seeing what's in your subconscious and wanting to come through um, that's a wolf to me. Oh, this one. This one is actually up on my Instagram feed. It's called Being Held. I just love it so much. And it really spoke to me at that time. There's actually a bit of a series developing. There's a lot of these that are just coming through that are very similar, that are very the same. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. And I just wanted to demonstrate to you or oh, her... Now, these are more kind of like deliberate drawings, but still coming through me. But yeah, so, you know, give it a go if you want to. If you're just feeling called to just be a bit more creative or pick up a pencil, you absolutely do not need 
to, you know, be some brilliant artist. You know, I think we're all brilliant artists in our own way. My point being is that art is for everyone. Um, and let yourself just play and see what happens. Okay, thank you for having a little look with me at my sketchbook and I hope that uh, it serves you and I hope that you um, have some fun and uh, free up your creativity. Okay, love you lots.